A new program in Wisconsin is changing the way farmers get rid of their plastic. Our Jenna Middaw went to a local farm to check it out and joins us with more, Jenna. That's right, Leah. Revolution Plastics has started a new program to recycle the plastic from dairy farms instead of letting it go to a landfill. Dairy farms use a lot of agricultural plastics. We fill her up pretty darn tight about every two to three weeks. And most farmers have only two options to get rid of it. What we have found is your average farmer was doing one of two things. They were paying somebody to haul the plastic away or they were burning it on the property, which as we know is no good for the environment and no good for their, their farm. Charlie Crave chose option number one. We were putting it into the dumpster and having it landfilled. Kind of a hassle to handle, of course, and uh, always paying dearly to have it hauled away. But now farmers have a third option, Revolution Plastics. The company gives farmers a free dumpster to fill with plastic and... We then take that plastic, wash it, and turn it into post-consumer resin, which then can be used into a lot of different products. Revolution Plastics turns the farm waste into trash bags, and the program started right here. The Crave Farm here was our very first dumpster in Wisconsin. But what started as one has since grown around the state. We're already up to 400 partner farms here. By the end of July, I'll be up to 800. I already have 400 more en route to farms. And so by the end of July, we'll have 800 farms on the program. And with that many farms using the new program? We expect to be diverting over 20 million pounds of plastic from landfills and from being burned on the farms and being recycled into trash bags and other plastic products. Helpful for the farmers and good for the environment. Win-win for everyone. If you're interested in learning more about getting a Revolution Plastics dumpster on your farm, you can head to our website, channel3000.com, for more information. All right, our Jenna Mitta reporting tonight. Thanks, Jenna.